Hey, it's Paul Hill from ITFlee.com, and in this lesson, you're going to learn what group policy is and what it is used for. Group policy is a tool used by system administrators to quickly and easily make configuration changes to users and computers within Active Directory. With group policy, you can implement security configurations across your domain quickly and easily. You can do things like restrict certain users from logging into certain computers, allow only certain users to access certain files, give specific users or all users a specific desktop background, or deploy software to your domain workstations. Group policy is a must-have skill if you want to be a Windows Server Administrator or a Systems Administrator, so do not skip over this section. One thing to keep in mind is that you cannot understand group policy without also understanding Active Directory. So if you do not understand what Active Directory is or how to use it, you may want to learn that before proceeding on with this lesson. Now, group policy works by applying GPO or group policy objects to the OU structure that you've created in Active Directory. A group policy object contains configuration settings for both users and computers. When a GPO is applied to an OU, the settings configured in the GPO are applied to the users and computers that are within that OU. You can also configure GPOs to only apply to certain objects by defining the security filtering. The most common and default choice is the authenticated users group, which is basically any valid user or computer within Active Directory. GPOs are applied recursively, and this means that the settings will also be applied to all sub-OUs beneath the original OU that the GPO was applied to. Now to start group policy, you need to open Server Manager and select Tools, and we're going to look for Group Policy Management. Once the console loads, you'll need to expand the forest itflea.com by clicking the arrow. Now you will see domains, sites, group policy modeling, and group policy results. The domains folder contains all the domains that are underneath the forest. The sites folder contains all of your sites that you may have configured through Active Directory sites and services. In short, this is used when you have servers that are physically in a different location, like a different building, city, or even country. The group policy modeling and group policy results are both tools that can be used to troubleshoot issues with group policy. Now let's expand the domains folder and then let's expand itflea.com. From this view, you can see a similar view to that of Active Directory. Note that you cannot see any of the Active Directory containers like users, for example, but we can see the OU that we've created and we can see the domain controllers OU. Now, directly beneath itflea.com, we have the default domain policy. As the name implies, this GPO comes by default when a new domain is created. Since it's directly underneath the domain, it will apply to all the Active Directory objects beneath the root domain. So this GPO not only applies to everything at the root level here, but everything in our itflea OU, everything in our administrators OU, and our domain users OU. Notice that we cannot see actual Active Directory objects, so we can't see users in this view. We can only see the group policy objects that have been applied to these OUs, which right now is just the default domain policy. The group policy objects folder contains all the GPOs that are inside your domain, whether they're currently in use or not. So here we can see the default domain policy is listed and the default domain controller policy. If we look here under the domain controller OU, we can see that that GPO is listed here. And again, this is just a list of every single GPO that you have in your domain. Even if it wasn't in use, it would still be listed here. WMI filters allows you to add specific rules of when a specific GPO should be applied or not. For example, you could only apply a particular GPO if the computer was using an operating system of Windows 7 or newer. The starter GPOs folder is used when you want to import or export GPOs for distribution to other environments. So that's an overview of the Group Policy Management Console. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. There's so much that you can do with group policy. I look forward to teaching you more about it in the next lessons.